brother. Happy Friday. That's a door closing. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm going to really work hard on trying to keep this concise because I think the more I tighten it up, the more I um, tighten it up. And I don't do these meandering things that we talked about earlier because you're really good at taking notes and I'm um, more interested in just seeing what happens when I start talking, which doesn't always go well. So my Fresh Friday for you this week is Queer Eye. That's right. It's back. And I decided to wear something a little bit fun for you. I, I, did, I did a fashion thing. I did a thing with my shirt just so that you could see that I've learned some things. Um, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, if you remember, is the original show that they used to do. Um, it was an Emmy-nominated show, and uh, they basically had brought in five different uh, gay guys to come help a straight guy um, reorient his life into something a little bit more um, fabulous, you might say. A little uh, a little more fashionable, a little bit more desirable, for uh, oftentimes for people who are trying to look for love. So they revamped it. And I feel like you would love it now more than ever because it is, as they say in the trailer and in the beginning of the first episode, the original show was looking to develop more tolerance. This new show is looking for more acceptance. And where better to seek acceptance for differences and personalities than the American South, particularly Atlanta, Georgia, where this one is set. Uh, they go to these guys in all these areas um, surrounding Atlanta and there's just something incredibly heartwarming about the work that they're doing. The it's Even though it's, I should just warn you, it's very reality show. Like I went in thinking, oh, I'm going to go home to mom's house. It's an afternoon after school. I've got nothing going on. And I just got like a pint of ice cream and, you know, some pirate's booty or something like that. And I'm just eating a snack or Chex Mix. I know that was always your favorite. And you're, you know, just watching a reality show. Just know that it's a reality show. It's Some of it is staged. Some of it is forced. Some of it is terrible filming. Some of it is, cl it's all clearly that. But it's still a lot of fun. It's the second most positive thing to the Great British Baking Show. I might use that some other time. Anyway. So. Um, what I love about it is that they've got five different guys this time, new younger guys. Um, Bobby is the design expert. Uh, and Tony is the food expert. He gives me a lot of Joe Anhalt vibes just in the way that he looks and talks a little bit. Jonathan is the grooming expert. Tan, Tan France is the fashion expert and Karamo is the culture expert. And it's amazing. Like the first guy that they do is um, this sweet, sweet man who loves cars. And he sits, he wears the same clothes every day. It's like jorts and like a bad t-shirt. And he drinks redneck margaritas that he makes, which is like bad tequila and Mountain Dew. And he watches, he's like, I sit outside and watch the TV with my cigarette. And he, he you know, smokes, he smokes and watches the TV through the door. Like these are characters that you know and you love. And to see them like love these guys every time that the guys are done with them. It's only like a three-day process. They make over their house. They make over themselves. They make over. They, they really, the coolest thing is that they help change who they are inside. And every time they're done, the guys are like, can you guys stay? Can you hang out with me? Like they just, they're, they're so moved. Um, one of the coolest episodes that I saw is I think episode three. We haven't finished this season, but it's great so far. Um, they enter, they make over a, uh, a cop, a Trump supporting cop, which is just, I'm not going to say much more than that. I think it speaks for itself. It's a really interesting and fun episode and it's super 2018 and it's super, it feels good. It's like a, it's something that we need right now. Um, cool. I'm trying to think if, the, if there's anything else that I need to add. Probably not. I hope you've enjoyed this fresh Friday. Um, I know you will dig it, love it, enjoy it. 
pass it by, who knows what you'll do. But um, I know that you will do something because you rarely do nothing. All right. Love you, brother. Happy Friday. Peace.